Hey guys, uh, this is Omar Kendall. I'm here with Seth Killian, and uh, we're going through some new content just announced for PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. We're gonna have a match here uh, featuring four new announces uh, on a new level, Time Station. So we've got Raiden, uh, of course, from the upcoming Metal Gear Rising. We've got Noriko from Heavenly Sword, uh, Sir Daniel from the Medieval series, and Evil Cole uh, from Infamous. And Spectre back here on the turntables. Spectre is on the ones and twos. <laughs> uh, so, these four characters um, each have sort of different play styles. We're gonna really give you, try to give you a sort of a high level sense of, of the different approach to the characters. Raiden, if you've seen the, the spotlight on that character, you know he is a sort of an up close, a very combo centric character. Uh, really proficient at isolating a single character and, and doing very long strings. That is that great level one super that just picked up a couple. Yep. Oh, knocked out of it there. See that pull. Yeah, great combos there by Raiden as well. And then Noriko, um, to whom, if you've been paying attention, is my currently my favorite character in the game. Uh, one of mine for sure as well. <laughs> like she's just dirty fun. Yeah, super fun character, extremely versatile. Um, has access to a wide range of functionality, can do combos, uh, does have some range projectiles. It's kind of a high risk, high reward style, uh, but it's super fun to play. Has a lot of discoverability and sort of her functionality. <laughs> oh, level twos are flying here. Yep. Sir Daniel with a very nice level two. Nice evade by right here. Sir Daniel, uh, one of our slowest attacking characters, a really hard-hitting character. We consider him sort of like melee uh, AOE, if you will, area of effect damage. He has a bunch of wide swing, wide arcing sword strikes, and uh, is able to extract a lot of AP by sort of running into the middle of things and doing these really hard-hitting, high damage attacks. He's got a lot of range, too, for a melee kind of character. Yeah, extremely long limbs, uh, broadsword is gigantic. Wow. From, from a distance, he can send his skull in uh, for sort of a stun effect, and he can land supers and all sorts of interesting combos off that. Like to land that uh, throw in the head and then follow it up with his sort of boomerang axe. So oh, yeah. If the axe comes back to hit, you can level one. And then oh, oh, wow. That was genius by Noriko. That, that level oh. one does in not have, uh, <laughs> does not have uh, a lot of area of effect right up close, but it's sort of a very specific range that yeah. uh, it's effective at and she nailed it perfectly. The yeah. right distance from the battle ball there. Great capitalization. That was fantastic. Evil Cole uh, has a lot of mobility, uh, certainly more mobility than the, the Cole McGrath variant. Um, has that deadly Superman forward circle. Um, has the explosive grenades, has the mine, uh, and of course has some really devastating supers. This is my probably my most effective character is Cole, and he's got. I mean, one of the other things, it's evil Cole rather. Uh, one of the, one of the things to watch in general, but uh, especially for Cole, um, is sort of there are areas of strength for each character, not just strong moves, but basically directions that those moves are oriented towards, um, and where you can really have a lot of success. So uh, Cole has some great verticality with that Superman approach. Uh, also a nice angle on his explosive bombs. Uh, and then is also really effective looking upward. So if he's below you, uh, Evil Cole can really give you a hell of a time. Uh, but when he's up above you, he's not really as effective. So you want to stay out of those situations and stay underneath people, uh, or to the left or right, uh, or find ways to rain down some of those projectiles. Um, and again, it's knowing what your opponents have in those same kind of categories, and trying to sort of stay in your optimal position and keep them in their uh, suboptimal position is the way you're going to end up uh, finding the most success. Oh, wow. Very nice. Riding. By riding. Yeah, making them pay. Oh, with the taunt. The taunt at the end. So disrespectful. That was uh, some of our new stuff. Obviously, you saw some new characters and some new levels. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale uh, will be out on PlayStation 3 and PS Vita. Uh, we just recently announced our, our promotional offer where if you buy the PlayStation 3 version, uh, you can get the PS Vita version at no additional cost. Uh, and that will be available for you on November 20th, so check it out. <laughs>